Today I'm going to be talking about five misconceptions, five misunderstandings, five things that I see a lot of new people come into Amazon FBA with the totally wrong idea of how things work. So today we'll be going over those five misconceptions and you won't believe what number four is. Hi guys, my name's Simon. I'm a six-figure Amazon seller here in the UK. I make around eight to ten thousand pounds profit per month, and today we're going to be talking about those five misconceptions. So the first one is that there is a special like magic bullet or special strategy or special way to do Amazon FBA. And that's the first misconception is there's no special way or magic bullet to doing Amazon FBA. There are many, many ways to make money on FBA. And the way that I do it might not be the way that you want to do it. And there's just so many ways to make money on Amazon. It's actually a bit crazy. Sometimes I feel like this guy. And uh, yeah, because there's just so many opportunities on Amazon. So, you know, you can go for, you know, from a most basic point of view, are you going to looking at a sort of high volume, low profit sort of business? So, you know, something maybe you're doing cosmetics, for example, you know, you're sending in a thousand items a day, you're only making 50p or a pound per item. That could be one way of going about it. You know, you could be doing low volume, high profit, something in between, you know, maybe a mixture of that kind of thing. Are you going to be doing big and bulky items? Are you going to be doing fishing? Are you going to be doing grocery? Are you going to be doing whatever category, health and beauty, sports, anything? There's so many categories in Amazon. So... You know, um, you could be doing small and light. You could be doing, you know, focusing on just the faster sellers or casting more of a wider net and going for the slower sellers. And then obviously within that, you've got things like online arbitrage, retail arbitrage, private label, bundles, unique bundles, all that kind of stuff. There are so many ways to make money on Amazon. It's insane. So there is no one way that works for everyone. And the main thing is that you just get into Amazon, start out Join a Discord group like Mental Picks, link in the description. I'll put it down here. Or I've done a review up here. I'll, put, I'll link that in. Um, yeah, join a group like that, and that's going to help you get started on Amazon. Going to help you do things like retail arbitrage, online arbitrage. And then from there, you can expand as you do more Amazon, and you'll kind of fall into where you think you're going to be best, basically. So that's the first misconception. There is no magic bullet, unfortunately. <laughs> so the second misconception is that this is a passive or easy way to make money and nothing could be further from the truth. Amazon is not passive in any way, shape or form. I know a lot of uh, people out there portray it as passive or they sell it as passive. Maybe there's some people selling a course or whatever, you know, total scam artist or whatever, or stretching the truth at least anyway. But yeah, this is not a passive business. Now, it seems like it could be because, you know, the items live in Amazon um, you know, Amazon, they, they, they store the, the items for you. They pick them, they pack them, they post them, they deal with the returns. But obviously you've got to be sourcing these items. You've got to be prepping them yourself if you're not using a prep center. You've got to be managing a prep center. You've got to be you know, constantly on Amazon, on the account, you know, using a repricer, you know, whatever, like Profit Protect Pro, you know, just keeping an eye on that, um, adjusting things here and there. There's no way this is passive. Searching for new products, you know, all this kind of stuff, basically. There's a lot that goes into it. So not passive, not easy, but very profitable. So that is the second misconception. So guys, I just want to mention that I'm doing a giveaway. I'm giving away the ultimate Amazon seller starter kit. And I'll put a link in the description below. It's 100% free to enter this uh, giveaway. And you can win yourself two printers um, with all the, all the labels, two label holders. Um, I can't remember what else is in there. Some tape maybe. Anyway, I'll put an image here anyway. And if you guys want to just enter that for free, feel free. Um, it ends in a couple of months, I think. And if this goes well, I'll do some more giveaways and uh, maybe make the, the winning a bit more uh, frequent, I guess. A few more frequent giveaways. But yeah, check out that uh, in the description, guys. So the third misconception is that you always need to be looking for brand new products. And nothing could be further from the truth. Now, while it is good to be looking for new products if you want to expand your business, oftentimes it's always good to go and look back and look at replenishable items. So maybe an item you bought six months ago that sold well, well, can you not sell that again? Can you not replan that item? It seems that everyone is always looking forward in Amazon FBA when it comes to getting new products, but not many people or a lot of the new people, inexperienced people, uh, don't look back and realize actually they may have found a really good replenishable lead that they can replan maybe every week, every month, every three months or whatever. And that's just going to make them money for years to come. So yeah, you know, you don't always need to be looking for that next sort of shiny object. 
look back at your old leads, look back at old products and just see if there is a replan available there. Um, because that's, that's where a lot of the money can be made basically is, you know, looking at replans and replenishing items over and over again as people forget about them. Now, before we go on to the fourth misconception, I want to talk about my sponsor, Profit Protector Pro. Now, Profit Protector Pro is a fantastic Amazon FBA repricer, and I've been using it now for about a month, and it's made me an extra sort of £1,500 versus my previous repricer. Um, the reason I really like it is because it's super easy to set up. You just basically need to choose what strategy you want um and you know what algorithmic strategy you want and let it do all the work and it's been it's been a godsend for me to be honest and i found it really easy to set up and i say it's made me even more money than my previous repricer and it's just so easy to set up as well so guys if you want to try out prospect pro there's a link in the description. Feel free to sign up. The price is going up on Profitech Pro on the 22nd of May, I believe it is. They've not announced by how much it's going up, but they say it's going up significantly. So if you want to get into that, get in there now. 14-day free trial. And yeah, you can lock in your price forever as long as you stay a member now if you join before the price goes up. So the fourth misconception is that you need to be sourcing from dozens or hundreds of weird and wonderful and obscure websites although you know nothing can be further from the truth so would you believe that this year alone i spent over one hundred thousand pounds at one retailer now i'm not going to say what retailer it is but let's just say it's a big one you know a very well-known website so you know there's this misconception that goes on that you need to be ordering from really obscure sites that no one knows of and you know that might actually work to be fair but that's not the only way um like i say i order from big websites you know sites like asda or game or you know it could be tesco's or sainsbury's waitrose all these big websites you, there's plenty of opportunities to make money from there and um yeah like i said i spent over a hundred thousand pounds this year since it we're now on the 12th of may um at one website so i'm you know by the end of this year i'm probably going to be looking at three hundred thousand. who knows what happens at christmas um yeah you know hampton will be spending at this website so yeah you don't need to be uh ordering from all these different websites and to be fair i found that some of the most profitable people who do oa just have maybe two or three big main websites they order from and they just supplement that with other websites but generally two or three big ones and actually if you go really deep onto those websites you'd be surprised how much money you can make from these big websites um and yeah you know yeah what else can i say on that really um so hopefully that's uh quash that misconception and finally the fifth misconception is that a va is going to be the answer to all your prayers you know i get a lot of beginners who've been either starting amazon or just you know, been doing Amazon a couple of months asking me, should I get a VA? The answer is absolutely not. A VA is not going to help you. It's going to hinder you. So from my experience, and I've hired four or five VAs now, um, they all need training. So you really need to know what you're doing before you get a virtual assistant. Now, if you get one that's got a few years experience and all you know is what they're doing, then, you know, maybe that could be quite good. But how, you know, most of them, though, you have to train them. And if you don't know what you're doing, then you're not going to be able to train them. You want to be able to tell them exactly what websites to source from. You want to tell them if they find a deal, whether it's good or bad. And if it's bad or good, why it's bad or good. So give them analysis on that with, you know, keeper charts and stuff like that so they can learn. Um, yeah, going into different categories, specializing in categories um, obviously talking about things like VAT and things like that. You need to have all these things you need to teach them um, to, you know, be able to be an effective virtual assistant. So, you know, getting a VA from a place that offers VAs, you know, it's not going to, they are trained to the most basic level. Honestly, it's extremely basic. And if you don't know how to source yourself, then you're not going to be helping uh, that VA or yourself. You'll just be burning money basically. So that is the final misconception. If you guys enjoyed this video, which I hope you did, please like, comment, or subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And as I mentioned a few things in this in this video, Mental Picks Discord group, Profit Protector Pro as well. Check out the links in the description for those and also check out my giveaway as well. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one.